So, while we have a night off here, or more than a night off, I thought I'd sneak in a video and uh, keep you guys posted. Keep you posted. Keep you posted on what? My thoughts? I guess, apparently. I keep you guys posted on my thoughts. Uh, day to day, man. What does F to Apple 20 think of that simple jam today? Alright. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so... I would have to say, you know, it's probably close between my favorite run overall. Deer Creek or Atlantic City, you know, Deer Creek may have had my favorite night, but then overall, perhaps, uh, Atlantic City may have taken the win there. But it's tough to say. I don't really have to pick a winner, do I? I like Deer Creek and Atlantic City overall. Those runs the most. I think my least favorite shows were Night One of Tennessee and then Oak Mountain, just a single night show. Uh, Arkansas, they started out pretty solid, and the next night in Oak Mountain. And again, you know, not that those were like horrible shows, you know. But my least favorite. And then, uh, you know, the biggest surprise early, even starting early on, was the uh, Kazvat songs. We've had several Kazvat songs in the first set that really kind of came through with a very good jam. Also did like Night 2 of Tennessee a lot, Alpharetta Night 2, DC Night 1, Deer Creek, that was my favorite night of Deer Creek, and then Atlantic City Night 2, probably because of that first set. I mean, that first set was amazing. I still got the whiteboard hanging up over here. I mean, starting with the Slow Llama, the Tube, the Destiny Unbound, all the way down to the Coil, the Melt, and look at that, getting a couple of Melts this summer already. I thought for sure, just pretty much everything I did in that preview video was wrong. You know, I think I probably said none of this will be right. You know, anytime I make predictions, whether if it's openers or anything, it's never good. So anyhow, um, nothing from the preview video went well. <clears throat> I thought for sure Deer Creek would get a split open and melt, and it would be the only split open and melt of the summer. Not the case. And then a couple of songs that I've been like, damn. They've been so reliable for so long. Sand has not been quite itself. 46 Days did make a comeback there. I believe it was in that first set at uh, Atlantic City. And then uh, even Harry Hood has not been the same. Still very good. You know, I'm not like, oh man, this sucks. All of a sudden those songs are trash. Getting foam early on in tour was a huge surprise. The Birds of a Feather and Haley's. Although, like I said in the videos, if you squish the two Hershey nights together, man, that was a pretty good one. But each show had its problems, I felt, or, you know, just too much downtime, you know, just, just too much, uh, you know, just too many role players, like a song like Cavern, oh, and role, things like role players, we, well, you guys know about Hall of Famers, you know, I might have to introduce you to role players soon, might be, be bringing back the point system, perhaps, so we'll see about, it. more on that later, though, you know, I like that Carini from Oak Mountain, Mr. Completely, that whole thing in Tennessee was cool. The uh, Deer Creek Simple was great. The Alpharetta, the Tweezer and Chalk Dust Torture. The Down With Disease in uh, Arkansas. But overall, may maybe for not like one of those plus 20 minutes, my favorite under 20 minute jam was probably definitely the Haley's uh, in Hershey. <clears throat> Post 20 minutes, I don't know, man. That, all of them, the Tweezer, the Carini. Oh, and Bathtub Gin. How could I forget a couple of good Bathtub Gins in the second set? That, along with that, you know, like, if this was the only, like, this, these 14 shows were the history of the band, I would say Bathtub Gin, Melt, Jaboo, Bird, Slave to the Traffic Light, obviously Carini, Tweezer, and Down With Disease still in there. But that might be their absolute best work, if this is all you had to go on. You know, and then you'd be like, they got a lot of other cool songs. Sand, Back on the Train, had a big 46 days, uh, <clears throat> a couple of really rocking antelopes. Got a regular llama and a slow llama. Oh, that was a regular llama. I don't know about that. Maze has even been a little, you know, uh, all right. So uh, I think most people, it seemed like Atlantic City, everybody had a different favorite night. If you like Deer Creek, it seemed like you liked night one. Same thing with Alpharetta. It seemed like a lot of people liked night two. Same thing up with Tennessee. But Atlantic City was all over the board. Some people liked the first night, some the second, some the third. I liked the second and third. It, uh, for me, it was easy, the second. But the third was also good. And then, um, you know, we had our cross-eyed and painless set. We got that thing out of the way a little bit. You know, I, I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, it seems like it's just as easy to pick, nitpick and complain about things. But these cross-eyed and painless sets, you know, I could do without. You know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? This one wasn't too obnoxious, but... And then early on in the tour, we got the big, huge jams. And then as the tour ran on here, we got in those later shows, the, the, the jams were to a bit of a minimum. Not that there weren't, there wasn't any jamming, but, you know, I don't know. Had that big rock and roll show, and I think Trey was like, man, let's do it, man. Let's rock for a couple of nights. I'm still there for the big uh, exploratory jam. You know, it, it depends. You could get a 24-minute stinker. Like that tweezer and Alpharetta, boy, it took it a while to get going, I thought. I don't know. We'll see. 
got a jabu i feel like you know i don't know i don't understand how people don't i guess people just have got a jabu like the song from the album in their head or something or the first few minutes of that song but boy once that jam gets going oh man that is incredible that's some of my favorite stuff and has been for a while now but i didn't i don't know i don't know we'll see slave to the traffic light has been a long time favorite had a couple of really good ones there man if you haven't seen the one, even the one where fishman chimed in a little bit oh, or whatever you know whatever he does that's been a nice little surprise although fishman seemed to found his groove on that early on oh boy arkansas oak mountain he was getting a little out of control with his new toys but so i think that about covers it <clears throat> Had to, had to, I'm, a, I'm, I'm pretty much addicted to YouTube. I was starting to feel withdrawals. I needed to get on here and talk to y'all. So that does it, man. Birds of a Feather has been a big surprise. Didn't expect to get a couple of good ones of them already. Reba coming strong. Antelope. All right, man. So maybe maybe Hood's a little bit of a long hauler. And even Light. Back on the train. Still waiting for them peaky jammers. We've gotten a couple of them, man. Been a little bit. They, they, you know, they've been few and far between. But it's coming. You know, it's still early. 14 shows. I don't know. I don't know how much they played together while they were off. They were rehearsing in Tulsa. Tulsa? What the fuck they doing in Tulsa, man? I don't know. All right, guys. Boom. Thanks for checking it out if you made it this far. Thanks for and thanks for watching all summer and giving the videos a like. And I haven't been ignoring your comments. If you feel like you're like, man, why is this guy ignoring me? Just every now and then I browse. I might answer a question here or there, but... Overall, I'll, I'll check out the comments once it's all over, man. Once the dust has settled. Once there is nothing left but dust and bones, we will talk. All right, guys. Boom. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon.